like a Christmas tree kind of scene almost. This guy. There we go, whoops. I hope I'm getting in the camera too much. I just knocked it a little bit. Now, I'm gonna just mix in a tiny bit of green. Actually, you know what? I use my number one. I'm just gonna put a little more green in. It's easy to take and mix it back out. Cause I really like this tree be a little squatter and to just feel eh, it's getting there it's getting there okay well we'll mess with the trees a little bit more later I think they, they feel pretty good so now let's mix in a little uh, yellow for the Sun uh, first now yeah, we'll do a little of the foreground because I got so much paint on the brush I don't like to, to waste it so I want to just give it a little texture, you know, a little personality. That way. I'm going to go in with a sharper brush in a minute. Let me just step way back. Step way back and look at it. See how it looks. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'll just give it a little tiny bit. Okay. So that's good. Now the one thing that bothers me though is there's a little stripe of white. I'm going to see if I can tone that down. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Sometimes you can leave a little pop of color because it will draw the eye, which is a nice thing. Good. Well, that kind of gives it some personality. Now we'll do the little bit of yellow in the sky. Get really extra paint off the brush into the garbage bag. More tissues. Okay. Clean the fingers a little bit. Okay. A little medium and just the tiniest little bit of yellow. And I'll show you the palette in a second. That'll Give you a little idea of where how to mix the colors or however you want to do that. Okay, so just a not a lot. And I'm gonna I'm gonna blend in this yellow.
Let's see, how's that? Maybe a little, some of those rays I was talking about. Just the tiniest bit. Like I said, it's not critical because it can always look like different stages. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Oh, that's that. Well, here's what we ended up with. I may uh, fool with it a little bit tomorrow when the paint dries for the most part. Maybe I'll tone down a little of the greens and, I don't know, get those uh, tones as close as possible to each other. Anyway, if you want to see it or hold it in your hands, that kind of thing, I have this painting for sale or one just like it on my website for $40 delivered. Thanks a lot. Bye. And if you ever if you paint it, send me a JPEG. Love to see it. Thanks a lot. Bye.